Hi everyone, I'm so excited that you are joining me for this webinar and this is what we have been waiting for since so long because Zapier and Integromat, people were talking about it everywhere, right? And when it comes to automation, these are like the two tools which are used everywhere. And today we are happy to announce that we are integrating Zapier and Integromat right with inside TechZoff. So you will be able to run automations on Zapier of whenever anything happens, you can run automation on Zapier using TechZaw, you can run recipes using TechZaw. So this is a big deal and this is, we are going to make this live tomorrow or day after tomorrow, but you will be able to run, access uh, our apps on Integromat and Zapier using the links which are there in the comment. So make sure to, to check, click on that link and access our apps. And uh, today what we'll be discussing, we are going through the, all the small, small automations on this two uh, Zapier and Integromat and see how it works. And in the upcoming time, we are going to create much more like longer videos um, with like detailed explanations of how you can connect different tools that you use using Zapier and Integromat. So today, let's just see how it works and you can, you guys can try it out on your own. And then in the upcoming days, we are going to create more and more videos on these two tools and I'll show you how it works, right? So let's get started. So before we start, I would like to give you a quick tour of spices and recipes. As always, I give you a tour so that even anyone who is watching for the first time, they should be able to know what we are talking about and how things are working. So let's get started. So whenever you log in for the first time or sign up, this is the first screen that you will see. And here we have all the automations, right? And we call them spices. So if you click on Facebook, you'll be able to see all the automations of Facebook. If you click on LinkedIn, you can see all the automations for LinkedIn. So this page contains all the automations for different platforms. And then we have something called recipes, which allows you to create this workflows using spices so you can connect one spice to another and you can add more here so this is the recipes and let's go back to spice page we are only going to talk about spice and recipes today if you click on any uh, spice you will see here the limits of that that spice and what output you will get then here you can name the each automation like if you're running something and you want to name it you can give it a name here and here you can need to fill your cookies and this will take profile URL like whatever the input will be here you will get the in, add the inputs then there will be like there will be some options with that you, options you can add here and here we have two options where you can upload CSVs or Google Sheet <clears throat> if you want to see how to use any of this uh, you can check our guides for that and here you can click on take a screenshot and this will start running the automation and any automation that you're running, you can go to results page to see the results of how it worked. If I click on this results page on results button, it will give me all the results that I, I got from that automation. So yeah, so you can see the results, right? And then if you want to see the logs, just click on any automation and uh, it will show you the logs all the things that you you used and how it uh, the automation worked and everything so yeah this was like just quick overview of the whole platform we are only going to talk about spices and recipes so i just wanted to give you a quick tour yeah we missed this part let's talk about recipes page as well so here you you add recipes you click on this plus button you can select the platform then select the automation that you want to add then once you add the automation, you need to fill the cookies or query. And then if you want to select any integration, you can select the integrations from here. We have Lemlist, Google Sheet, Webhooks. Then a lot of verifications based integrations. And then if you, you can here you can select, save the uh, recipe. And if you want to run it, you can click on run. And if you want to go to previous step, you can do undo and redo right and if you want to use csv or google sheet i'll be talking about more about this in some time you can use csv or google sheet here here you need to name your recipes how you want to what what you want to call this recipe and if you have proxy you can use the proxy here 
this was the recipes right and now let's talk about I think yeah I think we covered almost everything yeah one more thing let's talk about this settings here here we have some options where you can duplicate this recipe and you can schedule this recipe to run at some specific time on, on specific days and how many times you want to run this recipe and then we have something called webhook uh, I think it's not public yet so uh, we are going to have webhook for recipes that you can use in any third party tool to run this recipe and this make public is only for admins so if you want to make any res recipe public you can click here but it is only available for admins right now we are going to release this option for everyone once we release our Texo recipe marketplace so marketplace will allow you to create your recipes and sell it on our platform so yeah this was all about spices and recipes now let's talk about today's work which is going to be Zapier Integromat. We are going to discuss some use cases and how things work on Zapier, how things work on Integromat. So let's get started. So okay, so let's talk about Zapier. I think we all know about Zapier, right? It's a platform where we can automate by connecting different apps. We can automate our work, right? So the first use case that I'm going to talk about is related to Google Sheet and Texoc Spices. So whenever a new data will be added to a, to this Google Sheet. We are going to trigger a spice so what will be benefit of this is that let's say like you are creating a form or like you are just you have a VA who is going to add names and email in this Google sheet whenever a new data is will be added we will run automation and on Texo and maybe like find a profile or uh, go to that website and extract all the emails and do like all other things right so this will be like Zapier integration where that will be very useful so let's go to Zapier and here I'm going to create a new Zap and then as we want Google Sheet as the first app and then we want to have triggered when a row is added right this is what we need so let's select this one click continue and then uh, if you have if you don't have account added you can create add a new account but I have already added my account so I'll select this and click continue in a spreadsheet I have this Zapier test one that I created and in worksheet we need sheet one as I have like two sheets right I'll, I'll, I'll tell you more about the benefit of using multiple sheets so we can use another automation on Texo which will update this Google sheet with all the other data so if you want like uh, since we have an automation which adds all the data to a Google sheet we can use that automation so so this this or this sheet is going to be used by Zapier and this one will be used by Texo to fill all the details right so we can use that but for now I'm just going to show you like only running the spice and later in the next uh, use case I'll be showing you how to update all the Google sheet and everything with Texo so let's go back here I have this sheet one added let's refresh fields and click continue testing yeah so it, it got like column a vikesh my full name and column b is like the email right so we got the data now we need to use texo and select run spice and run recipe so we can select run spice and then if you you need to add your connect your account so if you don't have an account connected you can click on add a new account and it will take you here you need to fill all the details here email and password and click yes it will connect the Texo account for you. Since I, will, I have already connected my Texo account, I'll select that account and click continue. And now I need to choose the platform and spice name, right? So platform will be LinkedIn. Since I want to find the profile of anyone who is who gets added in that Google sheet. So spice name will be find. You can click on load more to get all the spices so we need this find a LinkedIn profile and in query we are going to add let me show you all the options are name and if you have city or country you can add more details by like just put a space and select country and all that this will improve your uh, uh, results right if you have full name then country LinkedIn will give you much better results compared to just by giving full name right so if you have data make sure to pass that in the query 
for finding LinkedIn profile, it gives you much more accurate results. So I have just right now I have only like full name, so I'm just going to pass that and execution name. I'll just select like uh, Zapier Texo use case one and click continue, right? So once this is done, you can click on test and preview or test and continue. So if you if let's so right now I won't turn turn on this like the peer integration, but I'll just simply click on click and test and continue. So when I click this, what should happen is that it should pass this query to this automation and the execution name should be Zapier Texor use case one, right? So let's click on test and continue and see what happens. So a test and was sent to Texor. Let's go back to Texor and see what is happening. So we can, we'll go to results page and as you can see, it just ran quickly and uh, it gave me the link profile, right? So as soon as you click on test and continue, it, it, it Zapier hits the Texor API and we, we start the function as you can see Zapier text or use case one was the name here and this was the name right uh, this was the name that I had added right and then it, it was my profile so it completed that and now what I'll do I'll turn on the zap I'll turn on this so now this is on right and let's let's go back to our cool sheet and add one more name here i'll add eric's name okay let's see what is happening so whenever since a new name is added the zapier should trigger the automation and run the spice for me but since there is a limit of like five minutes of time so it, it may take a little bit longer uh, but this will start this will like keep running for you so whenever you add any data here Zapier will call Texo API LinkedIn find a LinkedIn profile automation and it will start that automation and give you results right so since we have a limit of five minutes of uh, interval time it will take some time to uh, trigger this automation but we should be able to see that on results page so this was the first use case of like how we can automate our work using Google Sheet and Text Automation. So any, anywhere, if, if, you are, if you are having a VA or anyone who is working on Google Sheet, let them add any data on Google Sheet and run automation on Texo and it will save the results on Texo CRM for you. And you can even watch, uh, you can go to results page and see, see the results as well. And we are going to talk about recipes as well in some time where I'll be showing you how you can get the data from Texo and pass that results to same Google Sheet. So let's let's move to the use case too, which is really about the forms. Okay, so the next integration that we are going to talk about is related to forms. So whenever any user will submit a form, you want to run spice or recipe, you can do that using Zapier. For this, I'm going to create, I have created like already a form on Adaf form. Uh, you can use, if you have fluent form or gravity forms type form, you can any of, use any of that. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new Zap. And then here I'm going to type Adaf form and new response, right? You want to, if you, Whenever a new response will be received, this will trigger this automation, right? So new response, click continue, select, I have already added my account. So I have added my account here, click continue and then forms. I'm going to select the one that I already have. So Texas appear demo and it fills, click continue. And now I'll just submit a form here quickly. So Rikesh. Tiwari, uh, city, Mumbai, India, and support at techzor.com, your website. Okay, submit. So this is done. Test in trigger. We got this results right, and now let's click on continue. And now I'll select Texo here and select Run Spice. 
so we got this website detail right website right now i want to find emails which are present on that website or maybe you can even take a screenshot of that website let's take a screenshot uh, and using a screenshot we are going to create some personalized campaigns using hyper eyes and create dynamic images right so you can take screenshot of the website so i'm going to you do that so html google website let's try website or html and select what we have take a website screenshot right and then inside url i'm going to select the website which is going to be your website right an execution name i'll select select form response screenshot right something like that something that should be easy to remember right and click continue now i'll click on test and continue so that we get to see what is happening so this has sent a request to texo let's go to automation uh, let's go to results page just give it a refresh and we should have our automation running yeah so we got this request and now it's running it it is visiting that website loading the whole page and it will take the screenshot right so this seems to be working now we can uh, go ahead and turn on this app right and this is done now what i'll do i'll create another form another response here and uh, for this i'm going to write jordan wilson la usa your email let's go with support at texar.com for now and website is going to be this website by the way jordan is our user and he's he's using text very aggressively for all his work so um, we got the response uh, here now it should be the automation should, should start uh, whenever we, re we receive a new response since we already have started a call right and this was the response another response another automation will run in maybe like five minutes after five minutes new automation will will start and we get we will get the this websites all the like screenshot of this website so yeah i was i had mentioned texa right so now it took the whole screenshot of the texa website as you can see so this is how it will be useful any forms that you are you are using you can use any form either form or type form gravity forms or fluent forms you can use any of that and whenever you receive any response in that form you can use Texor to run automation right it, it can be related to a website automation like any of this you can extract meta tags of that website to create some personalized content for that user or you can find LinkedIn profile and send them connection requests right or you can find that person on Twitter and um, follow that person so there are a lot of uh, possibilities that you can do so this was related to forms and in the next use case we are going to check how we can use calendars to schedule some automations run some automations using anyone who is booking in our calendar right so let's talk about calendar automation next yeah so let's talk about another zapier automation and what here what we are going to do here is that whenever a new meeting is scheduled in your calendar on on big book like a boss we are going to get grab the first name last name and we are going to pass that to a recipe so i think many of people here are using book like a boss right tool for scheduling calls and all that so this is going to be a good automation for you so uh, as the first step we have a book like a boss i have added my account and trigger is like the new booking and this is my account and this is the data that you will get right and now here we have texo uh, run recipe which is going to be the action and this is my account and this is the recipe name and here is my cookie and this is the query right and here is the automation so what will happen here is that we'll get the first name last name it will be passed to this query 
and then it will uh, find the LinkedIn profile then it will send a connection request and then it will wait for two days and check if that profile is connected or not if that is connected we will script the whole profile you can add some more automations here like add a lead to lamb list or push all that data to google sheet or like you can do all other stuff right and uh, if that profile is not connected we'll, we are going to wait for another four days and see uh, if that profile is connected and if yes then obviously uh, script the whole profile if not we are going to exit the recipe and maybe like you can add auto withdraw connection as well since uh, seven days are enough for anyone to check if that person is interested or wants to connect with you on LinkedIn or not right so um, this is a very good automation where anyone who book who is booking a call with you on book like a boss it can be Calendly as well or it can be any other book booking app that you're using and have that person like connect with you on LinkedIn then let's just skip the whole profile uh, one more thing that you can do here is that you can scrape the whole profile and like you get the email as well so you can push that email to google sheet or like you can just yeah you, once you get the emails you can download that whole email and you can upload that to facebook as a custom audience right since you get personal like personal emails once you get connected on linkedin so this is a very good automation and we are going to use the same automation for the crms as well i'll be showing you the, that in 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 indigo bet so yeah, this was the recipe on how to trigger a recipe. You can click on send data and trigger the recipe. And once you, you see that is running, then you can turn on the zap and keep this running forever. So anyone who is booking your meetings, we, we are going to run that recipe and connect with that person on LinkedIn. So yeah, this was about peers running recipe example. I, I'll be making this recipe public for everyone so you can go ahead and duplicate this recipe in your account and try it yeah so this was about Zapier's running recipe example and now we are going to talk about Integromat use cases hey guys as I had mentioned that our Integromat integration is also ready now so I'm going to talk about that and if you are not sure about what Integromat is it's a it's a very good uh, platform where you can connect different tools different uh, apps together and create like a lot of uh, automation like workflows I have created one simple automation for now just to show you how it will work and what is happening here is that we have a Google sheet which is going to check for any new entries and whenever a new entry will be added that will the name uh, will be passed to Texo and we are running automation where we are going to find the profile using name okay so to the if you if you want to see how this will work we can run a test trial here uh, run once and and once it is working we can just turn this on and it will keep running forever for us let's say if you are working with a google sheet and anything that you will add in a google sheet i have this google sheet here and if i add anything here this this will trigger this automation and uh, it will start this text spice for me and it will find the profile and add that profile in results for me so i'm going to go ahead and click on run once and see how this will work okay so just need to connect text account again so let me just reconnect that find let me just reconnect my account so I just logged into my account I'll just reconnect here I'll click on add and let me just name this you just need to provide your email and password uh, for Texo and once you provide it will authenticate uh, to your account and now it's, it's connected so just need to choose the platform LinkedIn and then search and extract a LinkedIn profile using a name and company name right this is what you need and in query I have passed name so these are all the details that I'm getting from Google sheet which is name email city country right 
so I'm just going to pass the name for now and select OK so this is done yeah I think yeah we have all the data here uh, now I'm going to click on run once and see if this will work so yeah this has triggered the automation on Texo and it seems to be like it should be completed let's go to results page and yeah, as you can see it, it ran the query and got this profile of Eric so this seems to be working if, if we need let's add one more auto, uh, name here so uh, I'll just add okay and let's go back to integromat and click on run once now I have added like Jordan and let's go to results page refresh this page so it's it's super fast so you won't be able to like see the uh, logs and all that but it, it's quite quite fast so it, as you can see like I had a Jordan and it, it ran that query and we got the results right so uh, this is like pretty fast and you get like results in one one seconds and it, it at max it takes around like six seconds for one uh, automation one uh, finding a pro linear profile so this is quite fast so yeah this was about like integromets like first use case where you can add a google sheet and run any automation on on texa using uh, run spice or and then we have recipes as well that i'll be showing you after like one more use case so yeah this was integromet first use case let's talk about the second one hey guys so let me talk about next use case for integromat and in this we are going to run recipe so here what is happening is that we whenever you add a new uh, lead in HubSpot CRM we are going to run this recipe and the recipe name uh, let me just check yeah the recipe name is like HubSpot recipe 1 I have added my cookie here and in query I am passing like first name and last name and let's go to our recipe and see what is happening there so yeah let's just open this so what is happening here is that whenever we get first name last name we are going to find the lineal profile send them a connection request with a message hi Alex uh, this is Vikesh from Texo recently talked about a project on call thought I should connect here as well cheers you can prepare a message as per your um, your thought and depends on like what what use case you are you are talking about and then once we send a connection request we wait for two days and then we'll check if that profile is connected or not if that profile is connected we scrape that whole profile and if not then we check wait for again like four days and then um, after four days we'll check again if that profile is connected if yes then we'll just scrape the whole profile if not we will just exit this recipe right so what is happening here is that whenever you add a new lead in in HubSpot we are going to run this recipe for you and this is how the whole flow will look like right we are going to uh, send a connection request once connected we are going to scrape the whole profile you can do much more than this uh, we are going to have HubSpot integration very soon so uh, what you can do you can enrich your data so send a connection request scrape the whole profile then send that to HubSpot right since the email will, is going to be same it will uh, HubSpot will update your uh, the whole contact details right so you will get more details on HubSpot or maybe like once you scrape the whole profile you get the email you can upload that you can uh, push all the data to Google Sheet and upload that to uh, Facebook uh, as a custom audience right because once you are connected you get the email as well so uh, you can add that email into your custom audience so just keep this running and as as you add do add more and more leads you will get more and more data right and the, depending on like your use case you can have them on custom audience or you can script the profile push that to like google sheet and to other other stuff right uh, so yeah this was the use case of like recipe uh, using hubspot crm and you can replace this with like pipedrive crm or hubspot or zoho crm any crm that you are using so this is how it will work you can run recipes as well using our integrament integration so this was the use case of recipes using integrament and uh, any crm yeah so that was integrament and uh, zapier examples
I wanted to just show you like basic examples today since uh, more like complex examples will take a lot of time and it won't be ideal to talk about that in just one video so we'll be creating different uh, small videos on different tools how to connect them with using Zapier and Texo and like they'll be published on YouTube so you can watch that so what's coming next in the in the coming like in the next few weeks we are going to release a lot of videos short videos and articles on how to connect different marketing and sales tools which are present on Zapier with Texo and then if you're using Integromat we are going to show you how you can use uh, emails like how you can send emails how you can take a screenshot of any domain personalize that using Hyperize and push all of that data to your CRMs and if you if you're getting phone numbers how you can use Whitetail or any other like phone number tools to send them like voice messages and all that so those are like pretty complex automations mm -hmm. right and it will take a lot of time for me to like show them in just this one simple webinar so we are going to create small small videos on different use cases and publish them on our youtube channel so i hope you like this webinar and from today onwards we'll be releasing a new videos related to sales and marketing tools and how you can connect them using zapier and integromat so make sure to hit subscribe to our youtube channel this is the only place you will, be, you will be able to see all the new videos that we are going to release, right? Related to how to use Texa, how to connect with different tools and how you can scale your business, how you can find the leads and everything we are going to publish on, in terms of videos will be available on this YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you don't have, uh, if you have not upgraded your plan yet, make sure to upgrade your plan because whatever integrations that uh, we talked about today, Whatever integrations we are going to talk about in the upcoming days will be only available to paid plan users, right? So if you're on free plan, if you are still on trial, make sure to upgrade your plan, right? Then only you'll be able to use all the integrations, all the tools that we, we are bringing, right? And we are connecting with, with Texo. So make sure to upgrade your plan. That's all for today, guys. And uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is much needed. And yeah, in the upcoming days, we are going to release more and more YouTube videos on connecting different tools and how you can scale your business using TechZoc. So stay tuned. Bye.